So that. everybody's banging on about the uh, door, the door handles on these things. <laughs> this one works perfect. This one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. We'll go right round and test all four if we have to. Look at that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I actually have never come across one where they actually all work perfectly. The way not to break them is to put your thumb, rest your thumb on them like this and open them like that. But right. that's if they're not working properly. Yeah. This one works pretty good. Um, they work perfectly. Okay. They're beautiful. Well, welcome to a new Dave's Classic Garage Tours video. And yes, I'm back at Uncle Leo's Garage in uh, Port Melbourne, just outside uh, the main CBD area of the city. Um, Elias has given us a call, um, telling us he's got something in that he's bought for himself. Um, something pretty special with a good story behind it. Um, everybody seemed to like a uh, little tour we had of a his little collection and whatever. He's got a couple more out the back as well that uh, he'd like to give us an introduction to. Um, so without further ado, let's go and see, see what he's got. What have you got here? My childhood dream. Your childhood dream, <laughs> yeah. eh? It's terrible, look at it. What the heck? What's going on? <laughs> when I was 18, my, um, my parents bought me a car like this. Um, same colour, everything. But it was a horrible car, you know, it was full of rust. And obviously we repaired it and put a second-hand engine in it. Yeah. But I've looked for many years to buy one the same colour to do a restoration on. Okay. And I came across this one. And what's the name uh, of the colour? Atlantis Blue. Atlantis Blue. Well, it's I not believe. looking... Hmm? It needs a bit of a buff up to get back to... It needs to, a uh... bit of a buff up, perhaps a respray. Right, okay. The one that I had, though, was a, a Fairmont, not a Falcon GL. Okay. Where did you come across it? I came across it on Marketplace. There was a, a guy that was younger than me um, who had it. He never quite really liked it. Yeah. He was a Commodore man, yeah. oh. um, and the, I believe that the automatic choke is stuck on and the engine's revving really, really hard, right. which I'll start in a minute and we'll hear all that. Yeah, yeah. And I believe it's broken the, um, the converter, so we've got no drive at all. Oh, so right. he couldn't okay. find anyone to fix it and he moved it on. Okay, so how did, you got it, what is it dragged up on the tow? I had it towed here, yes. Yeah, okay. So, um, okay, let me get the keys. I well, noticed what's, you've got this ambulance service member sticker. What's I believe the old guy um, who owned it prior to the young man. So it was a one prior to this young guy that bought so it? I'm probably owner number three. You are owner number three, yeah. yeah. So it's a GL. So we're down at the bottom end of the... Did you get L's in, in Australia? Did they just do an yeah, L? General luxury. Like yeah, your Granadas that you had over there. But did they do an L? Uh, I mean, back in the UK, you'd have an L, then a GL, then a gear. Yeah, we had uh, Falcon GL. Uh, so, but, so the bottom of the range would be GL, would it? Yeah, General Luxury. Right, OK. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> but you'd call that poverty spec, yeah? Yeah, correct. <laughs> I still <Right>. do now. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? okay. So if we have a look here, um, you know, uh, we've got the original mud flaps in the booth. Yeah, yeah. You can see, look at that. Oh, They're right. beautiful condition. Well, so you, what they were removed. They were just removed, right? If you have a look okay. at this um, jack sticker, they were never actually put on from the factory that well. Right, okay, just so, slapped on, yeah. So any Falcon that you'll find would probably be in a different spot. So this is the cut, well, now we're seeing an half decent sighting of the, what it should look like on the outside. Yes. Right? So you reckon this guy's pretty, he's looked after it, obviously. Is there yeah. any rust in there? No, no rust at all. No rust. Just one little um, dint on the left-hand front guard, which I believe he's clipped it and the left-hand headlight was replaced and there's a kink in the guards. We, uh, for no rust for this kind of, this car? There's no rust at all on it. Which is very Well, I did my apprenticeship on these in the late 90s. I was, um, and they had rust in them in the late 90s. Yeah. And now yeah. it's 2023 and I'm working on one with no rust in it. I can't believe it. Can't, right, okay. Mm? Look at, actually, you know, I can see that colour now. Mm? That's going to be a nice colour when it comes back. They're beautiful. Yeah. If you have a look at the stamp on the wheel, it's got the date, which is... Um, uh, so that's an original tyre? That's the original wheel. Tyre as well? Correct, yeah. Wow. So there's a stamping on the date there, which I can't make it out. What is that? 82, but the car's actually in 83, so I must have had them all on the shelf. Yeah. And they would Jeez. have went into the booth. Bloody hell. Hmm? How come that's not gone all bloody cracked and crinkled? 
it hasn't been exposed in the sunlight. Right. Oh, okay. If you have a look at the doors, they're super clean. They're all rusted around here. Yeah. Uh, the door frames are in extreme smooth condition. The headliner. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that when I was having a poke inside earlier. If you have a look at them, though, from factory, I believe the mouldings were put on before they were painted. Because if you have a look here, look where the mask is. Oh, right. So if we re repaint this car, I'm not going to remove these gutter moulds. No. Because I don't want them kinked at all. They're actually perfect. Look at yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Right. So the driver's seat's torn and ripped. Um, I have already purchased a passenger side seat in perfect condition as a donor seat to redo the driver's one. No, that's just so, straight swap, yeah? Well, no, well, the skin will come off the passenger oh, seat okay. and onto this one so it kind of looks correct. Yeah, gotcha. Instead okay. of having any um, reproduction material on there. Yeah. Uh, so I never smoked? Never smoked. It's still got the no smoking sticker in there. Yeah. The dash lights are really clean on it. I think we've still got the uh, the service box. Yeah. So this is yeah, what you call an original, isn't it? That's an original. Yeah. They never really used to fill out the box that good. Have a look at it. They're a bit rough, isn't that? Eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> I think we fill them out a little bit nicer now. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Thirty thousand kilometres. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit rough, <laughs> but it's there. Yeah. And, uh, let's see where it was purchased. I think they've got the purchase date on them. Which is the whatever that was. Okay, so original registration, as you can see. Uh huh. Um, oh, geez, I'm not wearing my uh, glasses. BWD 655, yeah. Uh, 21st, is that right? 21st of October, 1983. 1983. Jesus, literally. Hey, that's 40. That's 40 years ago, almost yeah. to, to the day. What is it? The and if you want to hear the truth, the registration on it is the 20th of October. So it was obviously registered in, on the 20th of October oh, yeah. and sold on the 21st. Yeah. Well, that's, ten, that's a 40 years old in 10 days. If you have a look at the stickers still the on there. It's the 30th. Today, so if you come over here, first. yes. So if you come over here and have a look at the um, registration sticker, which is... Um, there you go. Birthday. There you go. 20th of October. Uh, so it was registered on the 20th and sold on the 21st. Yeah. As you can see here, that headlight's not original. Proper old uh, mm. original number plate. The original um, garden state plates, they yeah. call them. Yeah. They're quite popular now. Yeah. In 80s cars. And as you can see, the guard's damaged just here. So I think maybe the headlight was, because the headlight's been re replaced. Yeah. Where the little thing is he? He's got a little thing. You'll get that repaired, yeah? Well, what I'm going to do for the, to start off with is I'm going to strip uh, the door cards off and replace all the um, the, uh, the door belts, they call them, which is the weather strips, inside and out. Right. Um, we'll buff out the paint. We'll repaint both bumper bars. Yeah. Um, polish up all the moulds. Not remove them, polish them on the car so yeah. we don't dint or, or damage any of them. Yeah. Try and get a, um, a second-hand uh, Ford Genuine headlamp. All oh, right. So this... To make it look like that one, okay. that looks period correct. So that's SAP, that's an aftermarket brand, was it? Replace these Ford badges. Oh, you've got a Ford on here. Yeah. And that's SAP, yeah? Yes. Yeah, but it can't be, that won't be hard to find, will it? The, the... I think I've got a whole heap of them upstairs. <laughs> right, okay. Okay. So this um, is what, uh, what engine is this? This one's actually a 3.3 litre. 3.3? Yeah. So they had a 3.3 litre and a 4.1 litre. Yeah. 3.3, right, okay. So general luxury, 3.3 litre, right on the bottom of the scale. Right. But it does have AC, no power steering. Right. Um, no power We're going to try and redo the wheels. Is it tough? Is it a tough pull pulling it around? It's slow? Uh, they can be, yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, the original wheels, they yeah. were obviously painted in silver from factory. Yeah. And then these black outlines were stamped on. Oh, right. So yeah. they're going to be a bit tricky, but I'm sure we'll, we'll get there. We'll put the mud flaps back on. Yeah. And uh, we'll redo all the pinstripes. Uh huh. Right. Do you want me to start it up? Yeah, let's go for it. So, is that a, that's a V6? Uh, straight inline six. Inline six, sorry. Yeah. Inline six, sorry. 
You guys didn't have those in the UK, did you? Yeah, well, we had the Cologne. Oh, that was a V6, wasn't it? Cologne. Yeah, this is an Australian engine. Yeah. Extremely strong. Cologne V6, 2.8. So that's what I think's happened. I think because the engine revs so hard, the uh, automatic choke will not drop. And I believe when it was put in gear, it broke the, um, All right. the converter. Okay. Is that a big fix? Or? Yeah, automatic transmission has to come out. Oh, Christ, right. And then we'll see where we're at. Yeah, yeah. We need to remove. How many hours in that, Jerry? Um, oh, I used to be able to do them in 45 minutes when I was 19. Because <laughs> <laughs> I worked on these cars when they were cabs. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm 45, so... <laughs> Let's go one hour 45. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Might be two hours 45. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So they would never have a um, protectant uh, underneath the bonnet then? The Fairmont and the Fairmont gear would have. Oh, right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Believe uh, it or not, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if you have a look all in here. Yeah, it's all the, straight, huh? They're usually all rusted out in the, um, in the plenum, they call it. Some people yeah. call it the bulkhead. What yeah. used to happen is the drainage system is very poor on them, yeah. so they'd fill up with leaves, yeah. and they would rust internally and leak on the uh, on the floor inside. Yeah, oh, right. um, They're known for it. This one has no rust at all. So he's garaged this every night. This then. has been garaged. This has never sat under trees. No. If you even That's have a look in thing. here, all the mounting plates, um, you know, where the where the engine block meets the engine mount, and then the plate uh, meets the frame. Yeah. Uh, that's the actual original colours. That's not even discoloured. Uh, the dipstick is still green. Oh, um, they may even be the original ignition leads. They had the orange tip on them. I yeah. may be wrong there. Um, yeah. But some of these clamps here actually belong to it. Which it's not actually that neat if you ask me. That's original though. Yeah, I'll neaten it up, I'll make it look a lot nicer. All this though, sometimes was original. Did you have those back in those that, that yeah. eight, in the early 80s? Yeah. They used to put them on, they never used to cut them properly. See this air conditioning um, system here, that's actually pretty terrible. It's yeah. actually rubbing on the positive oh, Jesus. side of the yeah. lead. Um, they had really, see this little small earth? Yeah. They had a very small earth and what used to happen is the battery used to explode. Oh, oh serious? <laughs> yeah. So we're going to uh, update a few of these things and make it work a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We're going to, you know, go with the times. Yeah. As you can see, all these, nothing has been disturbed. No, it hasn't, no, those plates. So I'm going to try and strip it, polish it all out. I'll get a dink guy out to pull all so the So you're going to polish out. it first before you go straight into the paint, yeah? I'm going to polish it first, um, obviously redo the two bumper bars. Yeah. I'll touch up any existing scratches. Yeah. And then I'll get the dent guy out to try and pull whatever dents are in it. Yeah. Try not to interfere with it too much. What about this colour in there? On I'll the, clean all these up. Was that, was that from so, factory? Or the, yeah, the so originally, originally they were um, half chrome, half black. Right, uh, okay. That's it. Um, sometimes we clean them up and we just turn them just to, straight to chrome. Yeah, yeah. So we get rid of this here. But on this particular car, I might redo these all perfect, so it's yeah. period correct. Yeah, it's worth it, isn't it? I suppose. So, yeah, it doesn't have and a What about this um, bit of yeah. that trim there? That's going to be. That will be discolored. replaced. That's, how would that be like the orange on the ESP? No, that'll be chrome. I've got another one in there. I'll show you what That's it looks chrome. like. Oh, was it? That's they were chrome. Dis they were actually chrome. Oh, look, I thought it was bloody a bit of orange, but it's discoloured in the sun, yeah? Uh, yes, it has, yeah. time and. So it looks like that's been out. Sometimes the, the garage door's been left open. And or a carport. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Carport. Cool. All right, you've got a delivery. Right. Let me just quickly fix okay, this. Buddy. <laughs> yeah. So on one of the, um, the other videos, the ESP barn find that we've... Uh, Yes. I'll leave a link to up in the uh, corner there. The red one. But, yeah, the red one. Beautiful. So gun. everybody's banging on about the, uh, door, the door handles on these things. <laughs> this one works perfect. This one is perfect. <laughs> Look at that. We'll go right round and test all four if we have to. Look at that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I actually have never come across one where they actually all work perfectly. Right, yeah. Mm? But what, what are they 
commenters saying that they're, they're brittle and they the inner uh, workings. The the door hinges were terrible. Um, there's, there's a lot of factors there. All right. Uh, the way not to break them is to put your thumb, rest your thumb, on them like this, and open them like that. But right. that's if they're not working properly. Yeah. This one works pretty good. Um, they work perfect. Okay. They're beautiful. The doors. So, and what's, going, what's happening to the money on these things now at the moment then? Oh, they dropped off a little bit. All right, okay. Uh, obviously, the economy is not as great yeah. as it was. Yeah. Um, but I think they're creeping back up. Yeah. These all got thrown away in the yeah. early 2000s. But the fact that it's uh, the bottom end poverty, Becca, that makes it a little bit special for you. I mean, what, you're going to build a little collection of top of the range down? And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually called the Signet. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, hmm? yeah. No, that's great. You've man. never seen a grown man get so excited <laughs> over something so ugly. <laughs> it's pretty oh, bad. I, don't know, I understand. Mate. I understand. <laughs> um, so that's good to me. It's a special thing for me because it was my first car. Yeah. Um, so uh, my dad bought it for me. Uh, he's no longer around. Um, and... It was a terrible car, and then I smashed it. I was a young boy, yeah. and he had it resprayed for me. All right, yeah. And um, I, I drove it for many, many years. Yeah. Had great memories in it, yeah. and uh, I feel like I've had a chance to rebuy that car back. Yeah, cool. But in a great version of it. Yeah, so. yeah, definitely. And sorry, yours was a GL as well. Mine was a Fairmont. A Fairmont, a Fairmont. Sorry, which so, is upscale from this. Yeah. So if it does um, get resprayed, yeah, it will be converted into a Fairmont. Really? You Not a Fairmont gear into a Fairmont. What? Yeah, but... I will... And, um, yeah, but you've got an original car here, though. But I've got a donor car that's coming, which is a Fairmont, yeah. um, which has been sitting for 25 years under a tarp. Yeah. But it's completely rusted because it was wrapped in blankets. Yeah. And moisture got into the carport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's got all the perfect little mouldings that go around here. The eyebrow moulds and the boot oh, garnish. That's I'm scary, torn. you know? I'm torn, Elias. What about the fact this is a... A completely we'll see. original I'm still, car, though. I'm still thinking about it. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. Yeah, this, yeah. this is original, you know on, man. I'll let you know on that one. So, well, there's another, there's another one out there that doesn't have. It's a different colour or whatever. That's not, that can have all those parts and be made. To look, we'll see. We'll surely. see. It's a maybe at this stage. Um, so the the Fairmont would have a chrome garnish that goes around the rear glass here. Uh, so obviously that window will have to come out as well. Um, in the in the pillars here, they've got the uh, the what are they called? The dome lights yeah. in the Fairmont. So we'll have to cut the headliner to do it. Oh no no no! no you're, 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 <laughs> Too much? No. Oh, God Almighty! This is original. Mm, we'll see. Obviously, the centre console will have to come out of it. Oh, the interior. Oh, oh, no, he's getting... We're talking. We're going to strip the, this car. This is sacrilege. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm in two minds about it as well, if because you want to know is, the truth. You've got it for its originality as that car. And it, I mean, you could, you could make any car your original Fairmont. Fair, Fairmont, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a Fairmont, yes. Uh, you know, the, but not you, a rust-free Fairmont. Yeah, Look at that. Yeah, Look at this. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Look how solid. Yeah, Look how nice that. all the lines are on it. There is. Yeah, but it won't be a Fairmont though, will it? It'll Look at the gaps. No, absolutely. I've never seen one that's got great gaps like that. No, no, it's good. Not that they had great gaps in the factory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talking it's, it's it up now. Kind of tape. Kind of tape, isn't it? I'm talking bit. it up now. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's. Uh, All right. Let's have a look around, eh? See what let's else we hmm? We'll leave the rest of the tour for next time when Elias shows us around his new '55 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. And we get to hear his remarkable 355 Stroker engine, Holden Brown, for the first time. As well as that. Okay, all right, we'll have a look next time at the limousine and the fair lane that's out the back end. Uh, there's an XE Ute. Yes. Um, but what do we reckon? Is he, should he go for the fair lane upgrade? Fairmont. Elias goes for the fair Fairmont. lane upgrade. Fairmont upgrade. Yes. Or leave original. Leave your comments in the section below. Yep. Thanks very much. Uh, Thank for you. Let's uh, come Thank along today. Um, yeah. Brilliant, as per <laughs> usual. I'll Thank see you. you next time. No worries. Cheers, Thank buddy. you. Thanks.